since i learned how to make porridge yam like this i have not tried cooking it any other way this yam is so delicious even if you don't like eating yam with this method you're going to fall in love with yam it's so so yummy to the core first we start by washing all the peppers i use some chili some bell pepper and um, some tomato to cook this yam so i just wash all of them together with a clean water so after washing them i went ahead to remove the seeds in the pepper and cut them to a small size then i line all of them up on um baking tray because i'm going to put them in oven now after lining them up i also cut some um garlic and put on the tray as well and some ginger and onion then i went ahead to um rub it with some olive oil be before putting it into the oven you can use any type of oil then while the peppers are in the oven i went ahead to peel my yam this is a new yam as you can see the sand all over it so i cut them into circles and went ahead to peel them after peeling them i'm going to cut them into small small cube size then i went ahead to wash all of them very well I wash it the first time because the yam is covered with a lot of sand so I wash it the first time remove the water wash second and third this about the third time I wash it then I place it aside brought out my peppers and tomato place all of them in a pot put my um, garlic the onion everything together then use my hand blender to blend it into a soup now after blending it i'm going to um set it aside i know this is too much i'm not going to use all of them for this yam so i'm going to leave the remaining one for something else then i put my ground oil into a pan put my diced onion and fry it very well i'll fry it until it's getting a bit dark then i i added my um, tomato puree then i fry it for a few minutes as well after frying it i'm going to add the blended pepper and tomato that i've already done with the garlic and ginger in it so i'm going to add it as well then i'll let everything to fry together for more minutes after frying i'll add other ingredients to it now you can add anything you like the type of seasoning cube you like crayfish just any any ingredient you like as well but for me i'm just going to add salt some seasoning cube um, um curry powder yes i added curry powder whatever you like just add just depends on your taste i'm also going to use this sauce to eat rice as well so after making it i'll just take some that i'm going to use for this yama part aside then i'll keep the rest then i have some leftover chicken broth in the um, fridge so i added it added some water inside added my pepper my scotch bonnet pepper like i always say i always made them in pork then i leave them in the fridge so after adding it i'll mix it and let it boil for a while then i'll leave it aside now the yam has started cooking properly i've melted my oil and i added some onion then i'm going to let it fry for uh, like a minute then i added my crayfish to give me that nice aroma and taste so after frying the crayfish and onion i will go ahead and wash my fish see this so before the fish i'm going to put my um pepper sauce first then i'll wash the fish before now i whenever i want to cook my porridge jam i just cook my regular yam with salt and pepper until one day a few years ago 
that's how my husband asked me to cook porridge jam for him. I went and cooked it the usual way. After eating, he said, no, nah, there's no fish in this yam. I said, there's fish. I use crayfish to cook it. She was like, just crayfish. Even though I served him the yam with um, some um, chicken in this too, he said, no, please, when you're cooking yam for me, add um, dry fish. I was like, dry fish in yam. Like, I can't imagine cooking yam with dry fish. Anyway, when next I wanted to cook yam for him, I went to buy the yam. I also bought dry fish and I cooked it together. Oh, more the test was out of this world. As I'm biting the yam and the fish, everything just so delicious. I said, oh God, I never knew it was this delicious and I learned it from him. So, after um, I added the sauce, I washed my fish, put the fish inside, put my um, wash yam, add more water. Now, the quantity of water you're going to add in this yam depends on the type of yam you're cooking. If you're looking at this, it, the water looks like it's too much, but this yam is so starchy and so tough that if you add less yam, less water, you're not going to enjoy it. So I added as much water as the yam needed. So check the type of yam you're going to use before knowing the amount of water to add. So the yam has cooked is almost ready now whenever i'm eating starchy food like this without some vegetables or, or grains it makes me feel guilty like i'm not eating healthy so and i don't want to add leafy green vegetable to this one because that's not what i wanted so i use brussel sprouts as my grains in it so i just i have some frozen ones in the fridge freezer so i just brought them out and throw it in this brussel sprouts is very tasteless but the good thing is i enjoy eating it with porridge yam because this yam is so delicious that by the time i put the um, sprout in it i just put everything on that and as it's cooking it's picking up the taste and the sauciness of the yam and when you're enjoying the yam and the sprout together you're going to enjoy it you're not even going to feel like you're eating a plain brussels sprout so after putting everything together now i'll just um make sure that the whole sprout is on that so you can see you can't see any brussels sprout i'll cover it and let it simmer for a few minutes and this is how i am so ready so delicious so 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 delicious so i'll go ahead and turn it see as i'm turning to see the yam has soaked all the water fat as it is now it looks like it's even dry because the more it gets cold the more drier it gets then i turn everything very well and i'm going to 